Hello everybody, this is Vladi from Sellerboard.com. Today I'd like to talk about VAT. Uh, VAT is a tax in Europe, uh, probably you know this um, if you're watching this video, uh, value added tax. And um, we're often asked by our customers how exactly we calculate the value of uh, the VAT that we display in the software. And that's what I would like to explain in detail. So let me show you my screen. So uh, we're here in the dashboard. And, um, and th this is our demo account, by the way. And if you click on more here, for example, in the last month, um, you can see that there's a position here called VAT. And um, if you hover over it with a the mouse, uh, then uh, you already see that the tooltip and the formula, but let me explain it to you in a little bit more detail. So um, what's important here are basically these three positions. So first of, all, first of all, it's sales, right? So this is the basically the gross amount of sales. Uh, then the promo value and the reimbursed amount. So uh, what's pr what's the promo? Promo um, are promotions that either you run, for example, like 20% with a coupon code or something like this, uh, but also Amazon's promotions on shipping. So sometimes Amazon um, gives non-prime customers or, or prime customers who uh, must pay for shipping, for example, if it's an express shipping. Uh, so sometimes Amazon gives them uh, shipping for free. And uh, the way this is um, displayed uh, in uh, seller board, um, or rather the way we're getting this information from Amazon is we get the full amount of money, including the shipping or including uh, like not considering any promotions, and then uh, a separate position here with the value of, of the promotion. So it's a minus number here, it's a negative number. Okay, so the next um, position that we need to take in account for calculating the VAT is the reimbursed amount. And don't confuse it with the refund cost, please. So uh, we, we've got this uh, line here refund cost if you open it then the first one underneath is uh, the reimbursed amount of money so basically when a customer sends the product back or claims that they want to send it back Amazon gives them the whole sum of, um, of you know the money back that they paid for the product including VAT so uh, this is why we need to subtract this amount from the total sum when we're calculating the VAT because we're kind of reimbursing the VAT back to the customer through, through these um, refunds Okay, and the formula is approximately approximately sales minus promo minus reimbursed amount. Um, this is the gross uh, sum um, multiplied by this factor. Um, and, and this is exactly the formula how you calculate the VAT uh, from the, the gross price. Um, by the way, this uh, factor here is 1.19. This is because for our example, we assume that the VAT is 19%. Um, if, if you need to use a different rate, like 20%, then uh, we need to adjust this factor. So um, a couple of things. First of all, um, in order for this formula to work correctly, uh, we need to enter all the costs um, as net costs, so without the VAT. And um, first and foremost, these are our, co our cost of goods. So if you go to products here in seller board, you can see there's a uh, column here, cost net, and it says already net. So we need to enter this uh, cost without VAT. Why do we need to enter the cost of goods without VAT? Uh, this is uh, something that we need to do because of the way this formula is built. So you can see that the, the VAT formula here only takes in account basically the sales. Okay, we, we subtract the promo and the reimbursed amount, which is kind of making our gross revenue smaller. But um, basically, we're calculating VAT based on the gross revenue. Now, uh, what happens in real life is when you're buying stuff or when you're importing stuff, uh, you are uh, paying a portion of VAT already. And this portion, uh, you will not have to pay when you're uh, uh, basically doing your uh, VAT declaration when you're uh, calculating um, the total amount of VAT um, that was supposed to be paid. So basically, in the real world, uh, you will calculate the VAT by this formula and you will subtract the amount that you've already paid when you're buying goods, right? So um, what we do in seller board to make life, our life a little bit um, easier is we ask you to enter these prices as, as net prices. So um, we kind of assume you didn't pay any VAT already and the whole VAT you will pay based on the revenue. I hope this makes sense. This is a kind of a complicated topic. If no, then please let me know. I'll try to explain it better. Okay, um, one more thing. So uh, sometimes we're getting asked, why is VAT not like 19% or 20% of the gross revenue? 
And uh, let me let me show the formula to you how this actually works. So for this example, I again assume that the VAT is 19%. So the thing is, VAT is not 19% of the gross amount. Um, VAT, a 19% VAT means that the gross amount is equal the net sum multiplied by 1, 19, right? So it's 19% on the net price. Um, and um, and not the the other way around, and um, this basically means um, we can write it down uh, this way. We can say that it's 1.19 multiplied uh, with the net price, but also we can say that VAT uh, that the gross price is net price plus VAT, right? So from this part of the formula, we learn that the net price is gross divided by 1.19 or 1.20 if that's your if 20% is your VAT rate, and uh, then we can calculate the VAT. So VAT is then basically gross minus net, and a net we know is gross divided by, one, by 119. So we can transform it this way, and then we can uh, put gross outside of the parenthesis, and uh, we end up with this factor. And actually, this factor we can kind of um, calculate, and um, if your VAT is 19% or 20%, then this factor is roughly 16%. So um, if you're presented with a gross amount, uh, with a gross sum, then um, the VAT is not 19 or 20%, of this sum, but it's rather something like 